Mike Mullen from MikeMullen.net, Kansas Speedway. Heck of a race out there today. I tell you, Martin Truex Jr. put a good move on Denny Hamlin. Martin dominated the race, led a ton of laps. It was a runaway until the sun came out. Weather was a big factor in the Kansas 400. Martin had the car to beat, and he got beat. Denny came on strong. Denny, he's won a lot of races. You expect him to win. You expect him to be there at the end. Jimmy Johnson was there too, finished third. But Martin Truex, another good run for the guys from Michael Waltrip Racing. Scott Miller's doing a heck of a job over there. I'm thinking they're going to win a bunch of races this year. Martin, he's more focused. He looks studious. He looks incredibly ready to win a lot of races. And I'm thinking he's going to win at least two races this year, maybe three. Maybe Darlington, maybe Dover. I tell you, it's been a great season for the Michael Walter Bunch. Toyota won two. Denny Hamlin and Michael and Martin Truex. Jimmy Johnson third. Nobody else was even in the game. Really disappointed with the Jack Roush Bunch. But eight guys had problems with engines. Jack Roush's guys didn't. Maybe conservatism was the way to go. Greg Biffle finished fifth. And Carl Edwards was sort of disappointing too. I thought he'd be a little stronger out there today, but he wasn't. We saw the track getting torn up at the end of the race. An hour after the race was over, they brought out the M1 Abrams tank, the tear up stuff. They brought out combat equipment to tear up the asphalt. And when we get back here in the fall for the championship chase, it's gonna be a brand new track. 20 degrees up high, 17 degrees down low, parabolic banking. Should be a lot like Homestead. Homestead, of course, is a more straightforward track without the trioval. This place has a trioval. That could make a difference, but I'm thinking that the parabolic banking from what Greg Biffle says is going to make a big difference. It's going to be a good race. Kevin Harvick, he doesn't like repaves. Drivers don't like repaves. They want more aggregate in the asphalt mix than what we've seen in the last couple of races, the last couple of tracks that have been repaved. He says the tires don't give up on a repave. They just stay fast. Goodyear, they got their work cut out. We're going up to Pocono this week. Brand new racetrack up there. New asphalt, if they get through the snow and see what kind of speeds we have on the straightaway. 215, maybe even 220. Might be a little too fast. And eight guys blew up engines here today on a mile and a half track. Not quite sure what that was all about. Doesn't spell good for the CFI system. The 22 car, A.J. Almondinger on the pole, had to go behind the wall. They finally said, after tearing everything apart, that it was the throttle thing each. Not sure exactly what that was. I'm sure these guys, when they got problems, are not going to tell us all that they know because it's top secret stuff right now. But eight guys, blown engines, not a good day. Even the 24 car, Jeff Gordon, didn't run well, had engine problems. Valve trains, it looks like it's going to be kind of tough on these mile and a half tracks from now on until people get stuff sorted out. I think the Jack Roush guys have stuff sorted out. Greg Ruffles told the top the standings. And Martin Truex and the Michael Waltrip guys really look tough. Again and again and again. Martin Truex, studious, focused. He's got to win big. Richmond, hey, you got to look at Denny Hamlin. Hometown track, got momentum. But me, I'm thinking, how about one of those guys from Michael Waltrip? Toyota, thinking you might want to put some money on Martin Truex Jr. Mike Mulhern, Sunday, Kansas Speedway, the old Kansas Speedway, soon to be the new Kansas Speedway when they get through tearing it up and repaving it. Mike Mulhern from MikeMulhern.net.